I'm Jennifer and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. Today I want to go over a few 10 item wardrobe questions that I have received from readers and I also wanted to share a really cool email I received from a gentleman about looking presentable always. I'm going to be reading off my computer here and Grace asks do you set a certain budget as a percentage of income or a fixed dollar amount for your 10 item wardrobe? You mentioned in one of your videos that every woman, every size, every budget could handle this and I'm curious. My struggle is, while I would love to have a clear focus, I get very distracted by the bargain. Hey, Grace, thank you so much for your question. Um, yes, I do have a budget for my 10 item wardrobe and I think that the blog actually um, requires me to be even more organized than I normally would be when I'm organizing my wardrobe. I think normally I just wouldn't think about it too much. I would just, you know, put away my clothes that are out of season, get out what I want for my capsule wardrobe for the season, and decide casually what I need to add. But doing the blog, I do feel a bit of pressure to get it all ready on time because I'm doing the blog, I'm doing the videos, I'm showing all of you what my wardrobe will be. So for my fall winter 10 item wardrobe this year, I compiled it in August <laughs> so that I could shoot the video. And the funny thing is now all the real winter clothes are coming out and I'll probably update my winter wardrobe with one or two pieces. We'll see, I might not. Um, last spring and summer I didn't really update anything. I think I bought one dress um, in the middle of summer when finally my other dresses were starting to get a bit worn down. So anyway, um, back to your question, I do have a budget. I don't go out shopping with an idea like a certain dollar amount in my head, but I do know when I see something whether or not I can afford it. And of course, I, just like everybody else, often go shopping and I'll see something I really like and I can't afford it yet, so I don't buy it. I just try to buy the highest quality item I can afford. I wanted to talk about this cardigan, for example. You recognize this um, as being one of the extras in my fall winter 10 item wardrobe and it's a cardigan that looks like a tweed blazer and to me it feels very Chanel-esque. Obviously I would love to have one of those amazing Chanel um, tweed blazers that they're known for but I can't afford that right now so I found this affordable one at J. Crew. And that's what I mean by buying the highest quality that you can afford right now. So this is it for me, this is in my budget, and this is what I have. You know, I think that I can style it to make it look like it's a Chanel blazer. Maybe one day I will be able to afford a Chanel blazer. Right now, this is what I can afford. So I think it's important to just really keep your budget in mind and be realistic. We don't want to go into debt creating our 10 item wardrobe. The point is to liberate ourselves and also to actually spend less in the end because I believe that the higher quality clothing that you buy the less clothing you have to buy. And by the way, speaking of this blazer, um, a lot of people have asked where to get it. Actually, I just want to say in general, a lot of the things that I share on the blog that are mine, some of them I bought years ago, some of them I've had for a while, people say I can't find it anymore, where can I find it? Um, I don't know. I, <laughs> I can't help you with that. I'm just sharing my personal wardrobe with you. So I, I'm not sure um, if you can find this particular blazer anymore, but I think they have um, others right now on their website. So you can check them out. That's the fun of it. Have fun going on the hunt for whatever it is that you're looking for. Become a connoisseur of this type of blazer. Look at all of them. Try them out. See which one works best for you and fits into your wardrobe. This should all be fun. It should be like a game. So enjoy it. Okay, and as for the second part of your statement, Grace, you say, my struggle is, while I would love to have a clear focus, I get very distracted by the bargain. Grace, you are not alone. <laughs> I think most people get distracted by a bargain. It's so hard not to. I no longer get distracted by bargains. Um, I know the sheer nature of retail and I know how they try to entice you with certain deals. I know that most times whatever's on sale is not something that you actually need or even want. 
You'll look at it and you'll try to convince yourself that you need it for some reason. You'll think of everything that you have that can go with it, and if you don't have anything that can go with it, you'll think of something else that you can buy to make it work for your wardrobe. This is all just complete folly. Do not get distracted by a bargain. If you happen to be, let's say, searching for a tweed cardigan, and you see one that's on sale, try it on, and if you actually love it, like if this is what you have been looking for and it's on sale, what a wonderful bonus. But don't buy it just because it's on sale, because then you might not wear it if you don't really like it, and it's just a waste of money in the end. Now that we are clearing our wardrobe of all the clutter, we are more discerning about what we put into it. And um, this goes for keeping a clear focus when you're shopping. Yes, shop at the sales and look at the bargains, but don't buy something just because it's on sale, because that's not a good reason at all to buy something. <laughs> The um, washing machine is going off in the background, so I hope it's not too distracting. I recently received an email from Kaylee, who is a new mother, and she talked about how it is hard in the beginning when you have a newborn baby, or even just a small baby, trying to look presentable. Um, when you have to nurse, when you have to do all of these things that you don't normally do during the day. And Kaylee, I completely and totally understand where you're coming from. <laughs> Listen, I just had two kids, so I get that. Obviously, if you're nursing your baby, you have to wear clothing that makes that easy. I remember I just was, it was all so foreign to me, and I went to a birthday party with my baby, and I was wearing a dress that, like, was just not nursing friendly, and I had to basically take off the dress in the guest bedroom while I fed the baby. So yeah, you just have to think about these type of things. Whatever your current best is, just do it. It won't always be like this. Your children will sleep eventually, they won't be spitting up on you forever, you'll be able to wear something other than a button-down blouse. I promise. You know, the next few months, go easy on yourself. Do whatever you can to make yourself feel presentable and pretty. And that might be just applying mascara one day. <laughs> or it might be actually combing your hair. I understand that in the beginning, those things are huge. So just go with it. I received a very animated and marvelous, maybe the most fun email I've ever received <laughs> from a man named Morrison in Scotland. Hello, Morrison. Morrison and his wife um, enjoyed dressing up, and his wife really liked reading my book because she enjoyed the philosophies that I talk about with Look Presentable Always. Um, and I just wanted to read a few lines from Morrison's email. It's long, so I won't read the whole thing. But he says, My parents were immaculate all their lives, and in turn so was I. My father never went out without a tie on, and neither do I. Recently, and on three occasions while disembarking from flights, a stewardess has said to me with a large smile, you are the only one on board wearing a tie. I love that. You go, Morrison. I'm so proud of you. Just think back to Cary Grant. Cary Grant is like my ultimate male movie star. He's so handsome, so well turned out all the time. I love that. So I'm picturing Cary Grant, Morrison, when I think of you. He goes on to say at the end, I do not understand why people do not want to look nice, not just for other people, but for themselves. Dress smart and you have already gained the upper hand to start with. Morrison, I completely agree. Now again, you know, we want everyone to do their best, whatever that means for them, right? But as long as we put in an effort into this beautiful, wonderful world we live in, with this amazing life that we have been given, to just celebrate ourselves by adorning ourselves accordingly, it's just a wonderful thing. Once you start, you can't really stop. Yes, we all have our off days, but the point is that um, I think dressing up on a daily basis is a cause for celebration, as I definitely know that Morrison and his wife do. Thank you so much for all of your emails, and I will see you soon on The Daily Connoisseur. Bye-bye!